So the topic of the presentation is uh, Parsley Minor Releases Updates. Uh, we made our first release of uh, open force field, small molecule force field, codenamed Parsley last year. And since then, uh, we released the first minor release of Parsley in March this year. And the second minor release is a work in progress aiming to be released in May. And so now for this, uh, in this presentation, I'd like to introduce what has been changed in 1.1.0 and what to expect from 1.2.0. So here's a workflow that we use for valence parameter optimization. Uh, for valence parameter optimization, uh, we looked at bond stretchings, angle bendings, and also we look at the barrier heights of torsions. And the data that we fit to, uh, we use data from ab initio calculations. So for the bond stretchings and angle bendings, uh, which are marked as red colored here in the left top, uh, we, uh, the bond stretchings and angle bendings are informed by the ab initio op optimized geometries and vibrational frequencies. And the torsion parameters are informed by uh, torsion drive, which is basically uh, energy versus torsion profiles of constrained ab initio optimized geometries. And we input, uh, we start from the Smirnov 99 Frost, Christopher uh, adopted from Ember 99 and Parmet Frost. And we use, uh, we input them with the data and use regularized list squares optimization, uh, which is implemented in force balance software and it outputs optimized force field. And for the uh, targets we input in the force balance, uh, we first start from uh, molecule sets. Uh, for the previous releases, uh, we, uses, we used Roche sets and coverage set, and we generated uh, the, the optimized geometry data set and torsion drive data sets with certain criteria. And we submit the data to QC Fractal. And once the calculations are done, uh, we download the data set and convert into force balance readable targets. And this is going to be the input of force balance. So moving into uh, 1.1.0 release, uh, our main goal in this uh, release was to fix some uh, chemical perception problems uh, we were aware of in 1.0.0. And we uh, did fix some problems uh, by modifying some parameter definitions and by adding new parameter definitions. Uh, and they have like uh, we have three major uh, changes uh, improvements in 1.1.0. First one is a fix for tetrazole optimization issue. So um, uh, after our first release of 1.0.0, uh, Ian Craig uh, tested 1.0.0 and found out that. Uh, it failed to optimize, uh, it failed to reproduce DFT optimized geometries of N ethyl tetrazole and uh, shared the, the result with us. And we looked into it and while inspecting the problems, uh, we found out that there was a missing improper torsions and associated torsion, uh, proper torsions, which uh, were needed to properly describe the trivalent nitrogen center in the tetrazole. So we added the improper torsions, uh, I, new improper torsion I3B and uh, new associated torsions uh, T51C and T51CH. And if you see the right hand side, uh, this is a QM optimized geometry of N ethyl tetrazole. And you can see uh, from the 1.0.0, uh, we couldn't. Uh, make a planar tetrazole nitrogen centered area 
as you can see in the red colored structures. But if you see the green colored structures, which were obtained by 1.0, we could uh, successfully uh, reproduce the QM um, optimized ge geometries better than the previous release. And secondly, uh, we uh, made some modification uh, for some nitrogen-nitrogen rotations. Uh, while looking into the benchmark results with the test sets, uh, I found out that uh, significant deviations in the MM-optimized geometries from uh, QM-optimized geometries, especially for uh, the molecules who's having nitrogen-nitrogen bond in it, so you can see one example here. Uh, this is the molecule who's having two aromatic rings connected to the nitrogen chains. And um, if you see the left-hand side figure, uh, the green colored structures are the MM optimized geometry from 1.0.0. And you can see they couldn't reproduce the planar structure around the nitrogen-nitrogen bond. And when I looked into it, uh, the torsion assigned to atom, one, atom 10, 13, 14, 15 were T130, and its periodicity was set to one. And uh, with the periodicity one, uh, we couldn't make the planar structure like the QM optimized geometries. So uh, by simply changing the periodicity from one to two, if you see the right hand side, we could make the planar structure around the nitrogen nitrogen center properly. And it agreed like more with the QM optimized geometries. And lastly, um, we were aware of that uh, we had some uh, parameters that were overly general. Uh, so if you see the right hand side, the, the top figure, uh, this is the QM values versus MM values for the angle uh, angles who's having its central atom as divalent nitrogen. And you can see above 140, uh, there's a small groups uh, which were separated, uh, which are separated into, uh, with the rest of the dots. So we were thinking that we should separate them into different groups so that we can uh, better describe chemistry. So for this A22, uh, we added new term A22A to properly uh, describe the conjugation effect of a nitrogen carbon sulfur bond. And the result equilibrium angle values were quite different between A22 and A22A, which validate the separations. Uh, in that sense, we also uh, added new uh, bond terms B14A and B13A, uh, B36A to properly describe the single bond between SP2 carbon and oxygen with a negative one charge and the bo double bond between nitrogen with positive one charge and the nitrogen uh, with negative one charge. So these were three uh, major improvements that we made in 1.1.0. And moving into uh, 1.2.0 parsley, uh, where we were focusing mainly on like modifying the parameter definition to improve force field in 1.1.0, we were um, we are focusing on uh, the, the design of data sets that we are using in the fitting procedure in 1.2.0. So uh, for so for this uh, purpose, uh, we generated a second generation optimization optimized geometry data set and second generation torsion drive data sets. And to do this, uh, we added uh, three more molecule sets in the generation procedures. Uh, with the Roche set and coverage set that we used before, uh, we added Pfizer discrepancy set, which contains 100 challenging molecules uh, whose geometries, uh, whose uh, DFT optimized geometries were significantly different with OPLS3. And we also added E molecules discrepancy set, uh, who's having geometries, um, whose uh, geometries which were significantly different in Smirnov 99 first relative to other force fields. And we also added Bayer sets. 
And uh, using these five uh, input molecule sets, uh, we generated a second generation data set in a way that it, uh, uh, so that it can, uh, it can, yeah, cover more diverse chemical diversity and also uh, cover, uh, have a, to have a better coverage of parameters. And uh, we're now running the optimization with this new uh, data set. And uh, since it's, it's still running, it's running now, uh, the slides that I'm showing from this slide is a preliminary fitting result, uh, which was done with a part of second generation training set. So um, for the optimization uh, which is now running, uh, we are using 5,000 optimized geometries and around 1,000 vibrational frequencies and 700 1D torsions. But for this preliminary fittings, uh, we used around 3,000 optimization optimized geometries and 300 vibrational frequencies and around 600 1D torsions. So we started from the same initial uh, guess that we used in 1.1.0. And using the force balance optimization uh, in 28 steps, uh, we could reach the optimizations. And to see the uh, performance of this uh, 1.2.0 preliminary, uh, we tested them with our uh, uh, test sets. So uh, two types of benchmarks were done. First, uh, we checked the QM versus MM optimized geometries. And secondly, uh, we compare the relative energies between conformers at QM optimized geometries. And as a brief overview of the performance of 1.2.0 preliminary, I checked the final objective function value from the force balance single point calculation. So uh, if the value, the lower the final objective value is, the better the force field reproduces QM structures and ener energetics. So if you see the table here, you can see the objective functional value is lower in 1.2.0 preliminary in both preliminary, uh, primary and full sets. And to take a, a closer look at into uh, how they reproduce the QM optimized geometries better than uh, the previous releases, uh, I calculated the weighted RMSE value uh, WRMSE here, which is weighted uh, root mean square deviation of internal coordinates of MM optimized geometries from QM optimized geometry. And uh, I calculated the change in WRMSC value from initial guess to 1.2.0 preliminary. And uh, if you see the plot here, uh, the, neg the negative Y values indicates that the WRMSC value from 1.2.0 preliminary is lower than the one from initial guess, which indicates that it's uh, it better reproduce the QM optimized geometries compared to the initial force field. So uh, we could see like overall improvements in uh, reproducing the QM optimized geometries after the optimization. And also uh, I compare the WRMSC value with 1.2.0 preliminary and 1.1.0, which is the previous release. Uh, the latest release that we have. And you can see uh, also if the Y value is lower, uh, is lower than the zero value, that means the 1.2.0 preliminary uh, better predicts the QM optimized geometry than 1.1.0. And one interesting thing that I found uh, from this analysis was that uh, for the significantly improved uh, optimized geometries, which had a change in WRMSE value lower than uh, minus 0.25. They were the molecules who's having phosphono groups in it. As you can see uh, in the right-hand side, this is one example of the uh, molecule with a significant improvement. And you can see the uh, transparent red uh, 
structure is the optimized geometry from 1.1.0 and the green structure is from 2.0 preliminary. And if you focus on the transparent red structures, uh, you can see the hydroxyl hydrogen is uh, located too close to the neighbor oxygen, which forms a unwanted strong intramolecular hydrogen bond interaction. So uh, by, uh, from this 1.2.0 uh, preliminary, we could remove this unwanted intramolecular hydrogen bond, as you can see in this figure. Uh, for uh, and also to see the uh, reproducibility of relative uh, energies between conformers, uh, uh, I calculated the mm relative energies at the QM optimized geometries and calculated the change in relative mm energies and uh, a difference between relative mm energies and relative QM energies and uh, made a distribution plot here. Uh, and the way it, I, I used two different ways to calculate the mm relative energies. Uh, the left-hand side figure is, from, is for the left-hand side figure, I calculated the mm relative energies by taking the difference of mm energies uh, and the mm energy at the QM minima. And for the second figure, uh, I calculated the mm relative energy by taking the difference of mm energies uh, with the mm energy at the mm minima. And as you can see here in both plot, uh, 1.2.0 preliminary uh, centered more into a zero compared to the, pre the 1.1.0 with the lower value of mean absolute deviation value. And also in the second figure, uh, you can see the right-hand side tails uh, dies out more quickly than 1.1.0 in 1.2.0 preliminary result. So uh, this is our preliminary results that I have. So uh, now the uh, optimization for 1.2.0 is running now and we're expect to we're expecting to see the similar improvement in the 1.2.0 uh, candidate as well uh, like we see in the preliminary result. So thanks for listening to my talk and please look forward to the next release of version 1.2.0 parsley. Thanks.